welcome back to another video guys it is a cold day out here in dirty jersey around 45 degrees but we're gonna get the tuner on the bike we're gonna take it out for a little ride hopefully it's not too dirty because from my last video if you saw that you know that we got like 30 inches of snow here so yeah you'll be seeing that later on through the video but for now I just want to show you guys the uh, Dino Jet Power Commander that I got um, I know you guys probably seen it in a previous video when I was showing you all the parts that I got for the bike laying around this is one of it so we're gonna be doing the install today this is, this is it right here so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna take off the seat off the Dyna and then the left cover on the side and then it should be a pretty e easy install it's just connecting and stuff so yeah pretty easy So once you have that seat taken off and the left side cover taken off, we can go ahead right here. We're gonna make a little space just to give us a little more room to work with in here. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, just take off this top plate here. It come right out just like that. This is gonna allow us to just feed everything in uh, much easier and have a little more hand uh, space to work with as well. What we're gonna do next is unplug these two sensors right here. We're gonna be plugging in the two that the uh, power commander has. So these two go unplugged. And we're gonna move on to the next step now. So we have our Dino Jet power commander right here. What we're gonna do is that we're gonna snake everything in up through the hole right here and it should pop out right through there. And then we'll be plugging in these sensors into there. So it's gonna be a very, very small uh, area to work with. So you're gonna have to play around with this a bit. Uh, but we finally got everything through, as you can see here. So now, these are already color coordinated. So the, we're gonna do the same thing, black with the black and then gray with the gray. Same is as it was before. So we'll do gray on that side, and then the black on the other side there. These are both connected now. So now we have these two left over. All right, so what we're gonna do now is plug the PVC connectors in line with the stock ECM and wiring harness that we're ready here. So they should all meet each other. So I guess female with male or male with female. And they should uh, click right in just like that. Then we're all set. This could go back in, just in place. We'll connect this back up as well. Turn where it goes. Then these we can zip tie together, just so they get uh, stay in place out of the way. Just to show you guys real quick before we get on the road, um, these were the instructions here. So I'll just flip through the pages real quick to show you guys exactly what they were. Very simple, it's just simple plug and play. So as you can see here, first ones, we it's just to remove the seat, remove the cover, and unplug the ECU, which was the one right here. As you can see, I don't know if you can see in the picture right there, but I'll just show you that real quick, right? So then the instructions just say to snake the, um, the tuner down through here, down to where the um, cover is out over here. Um, then it just says to take off the PVC sensors and relocate them with the ones with the power commander to the bike, to the stock one. And as you can see here for the top one, this is where the power commander just lays on top. As you can see right here, not, nothing fancy, just lays down. I was able to move a few wires around here and it's just laying flat. Now prior to doing this, I already went ahead and I put the map that I wanted on the Dino Jet. So, so, so simple. So basically the Power Commander brings a USB plug that you just plug into your computer. You download the app that it tells you to download. You search for your make and bike, the year and everything like that. And then once you do that, it gives you a selection of a few different tuners that they have and you can download one or two on them. And it's just simply as that, it just instantly goes into the power commander you just press export and then it puts it in there like instantly and that's it 
So yeah, let's get on the road. Let's see how different she feels. I thought I was gonna have to do a little bit more than this, but uh, due to the directions, it doesn't say to take anything on or off. So I think we should be good to go. All right, let's see how she does. Give you guys a nice little walkthrough, real quick. Look at that, pretty little girl. R2 is looking nice and clean, baby. So yeah, look at all the snow that we got, guys. Look at all this snow that we got. And a lot of it has melted already. We got 31 inches up here, man. 31 inches. All right. Now, main reason why I wanted to get this bike tuned Obviously, I want a bit more performance out of her, but I did notice that she would tap out very, very easy. Very fast, if I may say, not easy. She tapped out very fast when I was switching gears. Um, those are the stock settings, but usually when you tune a bike, you're able to play around with the settings a bit more and play around with the ranges of the, the gears. I think it's safe to say that she feels a bit more peppier just in a little little run right there <laughs> she sounds a bit different too i gotta say dinner yesterday and um i was sitting at the dinner table and i'm telling my wife damn like i want to go ride i've been riding a while it's just due to the snow due to the freezing weather it's been in the like low 20s so it has been kind of awful for us over here in dirty jersey we'll keep cruising around here and um ew, some snow there i'll try to hop on the highway real quick and See how she rips. I do gotta say that she does. She sounds different. She sounds different. There's like this little, like a bit of a throttier sound, you know, like a deeper gargle sound. Okay, now we got some space. <laughs> yeah yeah she's working better already because even right there um shifting into third i had like a little more uh more gap there she would have probably like tapped out and i would have had to shift earlier also in the comments down below let me know where you're at right now let me know where the weather is are you on the west coast are you down south are you watching from overseas europe australia india any of the asian countries japan i know japan is up there as well japan's like number five the top uh top five countries are watching me i gotta say i usually let you guys know the top uh countries all the time i haven't done that in a while so i'll let you know i'm um, just keeping the loop so number one obviously us um number two canada shout out to canada number three germany shout out to germany man um four i believe um it was the uk so shout out to the people on the uh over the over the pond and then number five was japan which is pretty cool all right so first gear all right uh, she dropped that quick right there all right i think we got some uh we got some work to do right now because she's kind of tapping out at 4,000 RPM. I mean, I really don't know if she is supposed to be tapping out at 4,000 RPM. I thought with the tuner, it might have changed that. Um, which brings me to my next um, my next thought, which is um, 
I also got to get her dino tuned. So, I mean, that could be also it. Mm. Lots of water. Okay, so let's get onto the highway right here real quick. All right, so 5,000 RPM actually. Before she was kind of tapping out 4,000. Now it's kind of like at 5,000. Where we at? Where we at? Nope. 6,000. Almost at 6,000. So I was kind of wrong before. Thought it was four. So she's kind of tapping out 6,000 RPM now, which is not that bad. We're cruising at third gear right now. 65 degrees. Let's see where we can uh, get some space out here. There's a lot of traffic out. Cruising at 80, feels great. <laughs> Cruising at 100, she feels great. <laughs> Feels great. <laughs> she gets up there pretty quick now. Okay, so this tuner doing a fine job. One thing I forgot to put on the bike was the windshield. I mean, I'm pretty sure the weather's down to like 40 now, maybe 38. It was 42 in my garage. Okay, so, afterthoughts, conclusion, she sounds better, she has more of a deeper, throttier sound, um, she's tapping out at like around 6,000 RPM, and um, she's picking up a lot more speed much quicker, so even at 100, I gotta, when I got up to 100, that was kind of like, she kind of, kind of wanted more, a lot more. <laughs> I wish there wasn't so much traffic out, man. I kind of really want to just open her up on a, on a straightaway and see what she does. Get back on the uh, highway. Just making sure that there's no, like, ice anywhere. So much water from the snow everywhere, man. Kind of try to be a little bit, a bit careful out here. So let's up the video right here real quick. So I went out and I tried out the bike. I tried out the tuner. Um, it is responding a bit quicker, but after sitting back a few minutes and realizing, hey, it's performing better, but it's not performing the way it should be 100%. So good thing about the power command there is that I could just go back into the, um, the mapping and I could just auto tune everything and add different maps and set the maps up differently where for different riding styles, whether you're gonna be doing some city rides, you're gonna be doing some highway miles. And by doing that, you're gonna get the best response out of every gear on the bike. So I still have a lot of work to do. The easy part, like we say, is over and done with. So I still have a lot of work to do, but it's okay and it's real simple. Good thing about this as well is that I'm not gonna take everything out. Um, I could just bring my laptop here and 
Uh, plug the USB cord from the top, uh, just gotta take the, the seat off, plug it into the power commander and plug the end to the laptop and play around with it. That's, that, that's like the best part of this. Now also, like I mentioned in the video, I also wanna take it somewhere so we can put it in the dyno jet and get the best performance out of every gear, out of every little thrust, out of everything. So there's gonna be a lot of work to come, a lot of cool videos, follow videos to this. Um, but as for the install, very, very simple install. I think I had a harder time, a longer time, trying to just close the side cover up um, because of the, the things just kept bulging out. Um, but that was basically it. It's like real, real simple. It's just snug it in through the top, as you can see, and plug and play, it was, very very easy so if i could do it i know you could do it at home um i'm gonna be following up with the video so give me a few days maybe by this weekend i should have the follow-up video to that so today if this is the first time on my channel make sure to like comment subscribe hit that bell button so it'll notify you anytime i upload any type of new content this is my 2015 down and low rider this is my 2020 low rider rest which we're building out both little by little at the same time tons of stuff to come guys Tune in, I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby.